Good morning, Twin Flame, Twin Soul, Soulmates, Fated Connection. This is Brainy Twin Gemini for your reading October 4th, 2019. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for your likes, your subscribes, your comments. It just really warms my heart, and I just see a sense of community on my channel, and I, again, it just warms my heart. I love how much you support each other. Um, I, you know, I wish I could I could respond to every comment, but there's just so many, and just to be fair, um, you know, if I respond to one, I have to respond to all, but you guys are so supportive, and again, it just warms my heart. Thank you so much. I love you guys all so, so, so much, okay? Um, so, as many of you know, um, I channel in the morning my journal, and um, I flip the cards um, just out of pictorial um, purposes. They resonate with my journal always. And uh, yeah, and every single day I see signs and symbolisms. I believe these signs and symbolisms are messages to you. Um, I've been given a gift and um, I'm here to, you know, help you along your journey. And these um, signs and symbols are meant for you. I get them every single day and uh, yeah, they're just delivered to me. I don't look for them. They're just, it's just a phenomenal how this stuff, ha how this stuff happens. I mean, my coworkers at work are like, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. This stuff that happens to you. But um, yesterday, it was just kind of really weird, um, the number sequencing I saw. So I saw 10-10, 11-11, 12-12, I saw that twice, 1-1-1, 3 and 17-17. I saw doves, crows, and butterflies. Um, doves are, um, you know, very, 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 very good symbol. They rep represent uh, peace, love, harmony, communication, messenger. Um, yeah, there's so many things and the crow is, you know, is a, is a very good symbol as well and butterflies are a good symbol as well. I live in Canada, so th the weather's starting to get cooler now. So a lot of these, you know, the, the butterflies are migrating to the south now. So for me to see a butterfly yesterday was absolutely phenomenal because they're pretty much done now. Um, yeah, so I saw one white butterfly and a white butterfly also symbols, um, symbolizes, you know, someone from the afterlife just coming to tell you that they're okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to get started here. If, if anything um, doesn't, you know, the messages don't come out, I'll read my journal, but 99.9% um, .9 of the time they do come out, okay? And I'm going to call out for my guardian angels. I do three spreads of four cards, four being my birth number. And again, thank you all so much for the love. I, I can't tell you how much. If this is four, I'm going to take them. There's four cards here. Um, there's some pretty crazy energy with the DMs right now, but I just want to see, yeah. <laughs> it's so insane. Okay, so this is what's kind of going on in their head, in their heart space right now. Um, at this present moment, I only do in the now. If this resonates, great. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, but, you know, find somebody that does resonate. But this is, for this per partic particular collective group, this is what I'm channeling channeling as of now okay so I have here 5d connection okay and um, these particular DMS have fully awakened okay they're open they're, they've opened up when you go through the awakening you go through an ascension and you go through different dimensions okay they're in the fifth the fifth dimension and they are um, you know sh sharing frequency, I, I, can't, I don't know how to explain it, but energy frequency, telepathic communication, um, you know, some people may even think they're crazy, they're hearing voices in their head, this is absolutely real, okay, um, I know there's scientists out there that say that this is not real, but um, if, if you haven't lived it, you don't know, there has been so many um, symbols in my life um, that science can't explain, and I've just learned to accept that, you know, not everything is explainable by science unless you actually live it yourself. But there is definitely a 5D connection in this collective group, okay? And you can feel it. So don't think that you're going crazy and that you're hearing voices in your head, okay? This is real. This is absolutely real. There's a Kundalini activation, okay? And part of the awakening and the ascension process is the chakras open up, okay? There's seven chakras. Some people say there's 13, but as, as, as far as I know, there's seven, okay? There's a lot of controversy out there. There's a lot of myths out there. I believe in what I believe in, okay? So if you look at the card, okay, it starts down here at the base of the spine. It travels all the way up, up into the crown, okay? So there's your base, and there's, you know, all of your chakras open up, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, and then your crown, okay? Um, 
And so they're going through this this Kundalini awakening, and it resonates with the five D connection card. Okay, um, when, once you get up to the crown chakra, that's when you open up to the different dimensions. Okay, they they've already gone through much of this. Their heart chakras open up, um, their their throat chakras open up because there's communication coming, and now they're at the ultimate peak, and that's up to the crown, and that's the five D communication, the five D connection. Okay, absolutely phenomenal. Um. I resonated this in my journal this morning. It's absolutely crazy the way this stuff works because these cards just fall out. Um, but they're very, very nostalgic. They've been, they were nostalgic yesterday and they're nostalgic this morning. Um, they're thinking of you. They're thinking of, um, you know, that you're their, you're their best friend. Um, they're thinking of the times that they spent with you. Um, they're very, very nostalgic right now. And a lot of this has to do with um, um, some of the DFs have, have moved away. And absolutely phenomenal for you you know if I could give you a hug right now I give you a hug you're doing so good okay so when you move away there's that there's that uh, push and pull energy and they feel you pulling away so they're feeling nostalgic they're thinking about the thing the you know all the good times that you shared together when you meet in physical union for the like first time and when when this journey when it starts to evolve this is a love that cannot be explained so they're thinking, I, I, you know, I'm just pulling stuff out of that, you know, the movies that you saw together, the, you know, um, the times you spent together, the laughter, you know, the intensity of the emotion, just time stands still when you're together. Seven hours could go by and it feels like 10 minutes, okay? They're so nostalgic today. And if, you know, if this message doesn't come out, this, there's some very good energy with the DMs today. A lot of them um, are taking that leap, okay? A lot of them are doing it this weekend. Um, ghosted, okay? So <laughs> they know they ghosted you, and this is so ironic because what I wrote in my journal this morning was, or channeled in my journal this morning was, uh, they know they ghosted you, and this is um, such inappropriate behavior, and they know that. Okay, they ghosted you out of fear. They ghosted you. You may have even um, sent them messages and they haven't even responded to your messages. They didn't respond because they were not ready and they're vulnerable. They're, ex they're completely vulnerable around their DFs, okay? So they didn't want to respond because they were vulnerable and when they come in, they're coming all in. If that makes any sense, okay? They didn't want to give you false hope. So not responding and ghosting you is kind of like um, you know, it's not, I don't know how to say this. They, they just weren't ready and they, if they, they didn't want to give you false hope. So by responding to the messages, um, they're giving, they, they, they were giving you false hope and they didn't want to give you false hope because when they come in, they're coming all in. Okay. So, and, and plus they're vulnerable. They're very, very vulnerable. Right. And they're not ready. They're not ready to move forward because they're clearing out the things in their life. They want a, like a, a clean pathway no skeletons no toxins no nothing okay so the, the ghosting is necessary for them to clear the karma out of their life but they were laying there last night and even this morning I was channeling this energy they are like that is one of the uh, um, their biggest regrets is the ghosting okay this is not who they are this particular group of DMs they are not like this they're not these kind of people, okay? And they have regret and guilt about what they've done for this ghosting, okay? Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so now I'm going to do what uh, what the DM wants to say to the DF. And as I said, well, while I'm waiting, Guardian Angels, four cards, please. Um, there's going to be a lot of movement this weekend. Um, I channeled this morning that... You know, there's there's courage there. There's a lot of courage there. And that is um, coming from the DFs. You've given them some strength, so good for you. Okay, one card, please. And again, these are messages for you, okay? So every day the message is different. No two days are the same usually. I keep getting this crossroad, okay? So if you look at the picture of the card, there's a road, there's trees, there's whatever, okay? The cross, the, I'm getting this crossroads um, primarily every day because I'm channeling the same energy every day as it as this as this pertains, okay? They're in a crossroad right now because 
this particular group of DMs has a very complicated third party and a lot of it has to do with family and friends, okay? And they're at a crossroads, but again, what I channeled this morning, and excuse my language because my, you know, what comes out of my journal is completely different than what comes out in the cards. They're the same, but not the same. Um, they're fucking done. Um, sorry for the language, but um, this, this group of DMs, they're done. They've had it. They're moving on. They're clearing it. They're making the, the journey. There's a road here. The journey is to you, okay? They're jumping on that highway and they're coming forward. They're taking that leap. There's, you know, there's no crossroads. And I do want to say, because things, you know, like I do get a little irritated by um, um, some viewers, no offense, but how I channel um, my messages may be different how you channel your messages and how I resonate with the cards is how I resonate with the cards, okay? Please don't tell me what these cards mean, okay? What I channel in my journal is what how the cards flip and how I interpret them. Everybody has different interpretations. Sorry, I just had to say that, okay? Um, yeah, so there's they're coming to you. Um, rest, okay? Um, again, this 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 came out um, earlier this week once, and um, um, both of you need some rest, okay? There's been a lot of sleepless nights, and you have to rejuvenate, okay? You have to elevate your um, your energy frequency. If you don't get the proper rest, we all know that we can, we become ir irritable, um, less less patient. We propel negative energy out into the universe, okay? Rest is very 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 important, and what I feel um, is. Um, last night the DM slept very well and which is really really good okay because there's been a lot of restless nights but there was a good sleep for them last night they're feeling um, refreshed revitalized um, very very good okay very very good and I get this again okay I get this again and this inner child card okay so this message to you DF is yet DM wants to tell you if you don't already know they had some severe inner childhood wounds that they were healing, okay? And they want you to know that um, th that they were healing these wounds, okay? Many of them have healed these wounds and th th there's two very, very important messages here and um, that's what I channeled this morning, self-worth, okay? Um, self-worth was one of their inner childhood wounds and what happened was they grew up not feeling worthy, okay? And when they met you, um, you know, you know what this love is. I can't tell you what this love is. You know what it is within, okay? But when they met you, they felt that they were not good enough. They felt, what, what does the DFC in me? Um, they're absolutely perfect. They're a goddess. They're a princess. They're a queen. What do they see in me? Okay? This was a huge, huge block or, um, I wouldn't say block, but this was primarily why they ran. Okay? They ran out of fear and they, because of their self-worth issues. They did not ever feel that they were good enough for you. Okay? Um, the DFs, you know, in this collective group are, are um, you know, they're, they're very independent, financially sound, beautiful. They have everything. And this DF had um, disarray in their life. And they really had self-worth issues. Okay, but what I channel today is they know that they're worthy. They're worthy, and they want to thank you, um, DS, because you gave them that strength. You gave them that, you know, the ability to look at their their self worth, and they know that there is absolutely no value. And they want to thank you so much for that. Okay, victory. So I got this card yesterday, and there's victory coming in this in this uh, this this sacred union. Okay, there is a victorious ending. There is movement, absolute movement happening this weekend. I'm so excited because I like I felt that um, I felt that this morning. Um, there is movement. There is movement coming. I, I don't know what I did with those other cards. <laughs> um, they might be in here. So if they come out again, sorry. I'm a little under the weather here. Oh no, they're right there. Okay. Um, so what's the overall energy? I can tell you the overall energy is outstanding. Um, for some of you, there is there is some serious action coming this weekend. And again, I always say some, okay? Not all. You know, hundreds of people have received communication. Hundreds of people, like, I'm so happy for the DFs because you're doing so well. Two cards, please. 
This is outstanding. Like I said, like for some of you DFs, you are moving away, you know, and you're moving away and this is helping you. Like this is phenomenal. I can't, I cannot. <laughs> These cards never cease to amaze me. Okay. Um, soulmates. Okay. So this is a twin flame soulmate connection and or faded connection, whatever you may resonate with. This is the ultimate connection. Okay. Not only are you twin flames, but your soulmates as well. This is absolutely phenomenal. I love this. Um, this particular collective group, you have like the best ultimate connection. Okay. Um, and what I also channeled in my journal this morning is the DF thinks of you as their best friend. Okay. Like there's no one like you separation. There's a couple messages here that I channeled in my uh, journal this morning. Okay. First and foremost, if you're connected in the 5D, you are not truly separated, okay? It's just an illusion. Your energy frequency goes back and forth. You can telepathically speak to, to each other. You are always with each other, okay? You are physically separated, but separation is just an illusion. That's very, very important to understand in this journey, okay? Second of all, much of the separation is coming to an end, okay? A lot of these DMs are taking a leap. They're taking a leap of love for love, and the separation is ending. And lastly, I channel messages for, um, you know, sacred unions that are in complete separation with zero communication, okay? So this is just a validation um, that, you know, what I'm channeling is for this particular collective group, okay? But a first message is separation is an illusion. Second message is the separation is coming to an end, okay, for many. Outstanding. unconditional love and as you've maybe uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos unconditional love is one of the most important elements on this journey unconditional love for oneself and unconditional love for one another but there's unconditional love between the dm and the df okay absolutely outstanding the dm has unconditional love um for for the df and the df has unconditional love for the DM, okay? This is unconditional love. And you are mirroring the unconditional love. And I am so happy. Like, I'm so happy that I just wanna cry because, you know, there was some bad energy going on at the beginning of the week. And, you know, there is unconditional love going back and forth. And I am just ecstatic about this, okay? Um, unconditional love and self-love, they, they go hand in hand, okay? So you have to have self-love. And, you know, sometimes it's hard and, you know, like, but, but self-love is, is so, so, so important in this journey as well. And sometimes, you know, we focus on, and it's easy to get caught up in our emotions. Okay. This isn't an easy journey. And sometimes we focus on the hurt and certain things are not acceptable. Like I'm going to tell you, ghosting is not acceptable. It's not acceptable behavior. Okay. But these particular DMs are not doing it to be mean. They're not doing it to hurt you. They're doing it because they need to heal. Okay. They knew they're doing it. They, they need to distance themselves in order to move forward. Okay. It's just the evolution of the journey and there's so much self-love going on and I'm so proud of, you know, the DFs and the DMs. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Great, great, great. So, um, now I'm going to do eight messages here of what kind of what's in their head space right now. What are they thinking about when they're laying down at night? Put their head on their pillow. Four and f four, and four is eight. That's why I do eight. Can't. <laughs> uh. Too many. I'll tell you that right now. Six cards, please, guardian angels. It takes some time sometimes. Uh, I got four here. Yes, we do. All right. Okay. So again, as you as you know, I cannot I cannot cheat these cards. Um, it says here we're strongly connected in the five D. It pretty much resonates with the five D connection card that I just flipped. Um, you are very strongly connected. Okay, and an, an important message I want to give to you is this is real. Okay, you're not going crazy. And some of the DMs 
um, feel like they were, you know, they were going crazy. They're like, what is this? I don't understand this. I, I'm hearing voices almost. I, I, I can't, like, you know, but you're very, very strongly um, connected. Um, this particular group of DMs are cutting the fake people out of their life, okay? And I said that to you earlier. They're effing done, okay? They're, you know, they're done. They, you know, they, they, they want to come to um, their DF, okay? They don't want to waste any more time. I have the desire to see the world with you, and again, um, resonates with my journal. Um, they wanna, they, they wanna conquer the world, okay? A lot of them were so worried about providing um, an abundant life. They, you know, they were putting their head down. They were working. They were doing everything for their DFs, but they finally realized, you know, w you know, within the last 24 hours, some of them actually, it's like it's, you know, what we'll make it work. This love, they're starting to use their hearts and not their heads. And they're starting to follow their heart, okay? And they're like, whatever, I'm, I'm coming to you and what, like, um, we'll make it work somehow. Our love will conquer all, okay? We're going to conquer this. I feel your love around me constantly, okay? Again, that's that unconditional love. That's that self-love. That's that 5D connection. They feel your love. And because of this love, it's giving them the courage to move forward. Many of them, okay? So outstanding you are my lighthouse and again I, I channeled that in my journal this morning which is crazy okay so I how I how I um, channel this particular card is you've kept them grounded okay you're the reason um, you know they're doing what they're doing you've grounded them your your unconditional love your support your strength and your courage has grounded them okay so um, it's you're their lighthouse you're 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 the reason why they get you know get up every day and and they're clearing the karma that you are that person you are their lighthouse okay secretly I'm anxious to see you okay so th what I resonate with this particular card is they're anxious okay there is a little bit of anxiety but they are done like they're absolutely done they're taking that leap and you know what um, they're moving forward and but they're anxious like they're, they have a little bit of worry there because you know at the end of the day if they come knocking on your door there's still that element of fear that you're gonna say buzz off okay so it's the fear of rejection okay um, and that's the that's where the anxiousness comes from but they're like you know what I don't care I'm taking that chance now like I'm moving forward whatever happens happens okay I'm scared it's too risky again it's, you know, it's the, the anxious card. They're, they're scared, okay? It's, it's risky. And, and re it's only risky to them, okay? Because it, it's still, you know, still part of that ego. There's still part of that ego there, okay? And, and it's that worry, you know, if they come and, in with the communication, if they come in with that long-term commitment that you're just going to say, no, I'm not interested, okay? But they're doing it. They're absolutely doing it. And we're mirroring each other, okay? Unconditional love, self-love. You know what? This is phenomenal. You guys are phenomenal, okay? You're doing so well. You're mirroring good things. And that's all I felt this morning, okay? And I, you know what? I, I think there was some, there was some longing, like longing and sadness with the DMs because many of the DFs were moving away. And, and you should, okay? Do what's good for you, okay? Um, but they feel that. They felt that. You know, that's, that's good. Moving away is such a good thing, okay? You know, some people are like, well, I'm moving away. You know, moving away is just moving away from the obsession, okay? Never the love. The love will always be there. It will never, ever dissipate. It will never dissipate. It will never go. Okay, two more cards, please. Okay, so karma's kicking them in the ass, and again, what I channeled this morning um, in my journal is this this particular group of DMs. There's okay, there's a couple messages that I had them come out that I'm gonna go. They didn't tell you the truth, okay? They there's some things going on in their life um, that they didn't tell you, and they were completely protecting you of this, okay? Um, 
they were they were frightened to tell you because they had trust issues because and that's their own Achilles heel they had their own trust issues nothing to do with you but they could not let you in okay they just couldn't there's too many things they, they, they just were protecting you and they just did not want to let you in okay so karma is kicking them in the ass they've cleared the karma okay they've they've uh, opened up that that passageway um, they've done everything but again like I said they haven't told you everything, but they are coming in to tell you everything, okay? I see other people in you, okay? Um, this card pretty much speaks for itself, but you are a constant reminder. Like, everywhere they go, the DF is a constant reminder, okay? Ev everywhere they go. Oh, this person looks like her. Oh, this person looks like her. You know what I mean? It could be the car that, that you drive. There's... You, there's, they're seeing it every single day, okay? And another another thing that I channeled in my um, journal was uh, uh, the DMs are seeing the, the, the signs and the symbols as well, okay? And they know that they're being pushed, okay? They're being pushed to move forward, okay? I can't wait to love you, okay? And again, they do love you, but they can't wait um, um, to wrap their arms around you and just hug you and never let you go, okay? Channeled that this morning. And lastly, they love you to the moon and back. Okay, there's no question here, guys. None. Absolutely none. This group of DMs loves their DFs. Okay, and as I've said before, this is not this is a this is a journey of love, okay? It's a roller coaster ride of emotions. And it's a journey. It's a journey of oneself, unconditional love, self-love, self-worth, so many things. Um, healing that inner child being the best version of yourself okay because when you come into union you, you you know you almost fit like a glove okay you can't be taking out any of your past on each other you just cannot um and it's it's not a journey of abuse either so if you're being in, um, emotionally mentally physically and verbally abused this is not your journey okay because a dm would never hurt his dm they they ghost but this is not um they don't do it they, they don't do that intentionally, okay? So if you're being abused, this is absolutely not your journey, okay? Sorry. Um, so I have these little, small, little kind of soulmate cards, but they have really nice messages. Um, sorry, I didn't cut and I didn't even let it fall. Okay, so I'm going to let um, them fall out, and then I'll give you that message. Oh, and another thing, um, some of the DFs were blocking the DMs. And they're saying, can you please stop? Okay. Uh, okay, so here's the, there's the front of the card, okay? And here is the message. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. I'm so grateful um, for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love. Absolutely phenomenal, okay? So, so nice. I love it. I just love this energy today. Okay. So, I'm going to pull the animal spirit cards. And again, these cards are hard to work with. So if a card flips over face first, then I'll take that card. If one flips out, I'll take that card. I do divine feminine energy first. Feminine is always first. Okay, so right now we're going to do um, DM, Guardian Angels, one card, DM, oh, this is nice, as you can tell I love animals and anything to do with the planet, <laughs> okay, um, for the DF I have um, the draft spirit okay and it says see the big picture so I'm gonna embellish on that today okay giraffes a giraffe spirit okay so um, giraffes stretch upward to reach the treetops and look down from the high vantage point when giraffe spirit appears, it is a sign to observe from higher view. In all aspects of your life, it's time to stretch your neck 
out and broaden your view, open your eyes to what others are needing or are experience, and see the big picture you fit into. No matter how great your wisdom, knowledge, or experience, you don't want to overlook details and connections that will help you better understand yourself and your circumstances. So stretch yourself, look beyond what catches your attention at eye level, and know that not everything is obvious as you might like it to be. Spirit will bestow upon you a new perspective that might make all the difference. Okay, this is out outstanding, okay? Um, how I resonate with this card is, um, is Spirit will bestow you uh, a new perspective that might make all the difference, okay? You're stretching yourself, DFs. You're doing what you need to do. I'm so, so, so proud of, um, you know, some of the DFs. You're just doing absolutely amazing, you know? Um, so I have... Uh, koi fish spirit here and it says there is always enough okay <laughs> I'm curious to see what this says um, okay koi fish spirit okay there's always enough okay the koi fish who grows big within a small pond reminds us that within each of, of us the is the potential for prosperity the law of abundance ensures that prosperity is our natural state. So regardless of temporary temporary outlook conditions, you can call in prosperity and magnetically attract the opportunities and abundance you need. The message of the koi fish spirit is to begin gen to generate wealth, wealth within with deliberate intention, no matter how small your pond may seem, and appreciate the abundance wherever you see it. Outer conditions will come to reflect your inner prosperity, so begin to become the self who is comfortable with all wealth in all forms. Even if, if, even if at the moment it feels as if the riches are not yours, they soon will be. Start to envision the plenty that spirit wants you to experience. Knowing that from the moment you begin to commit to conscious and deliberate co-creating, spirit will joyfully start bringing you and what you need. You have so much to offer and so much of value to express to the world. In your little pond, there is so much you can create and much you can attract. Do not un underestimate what you have and who you are. For the koi fish spirit wants you to know that you are exquisite, loved, and deeply cherished. Cherished. Trust that other outer conditions are changing to reflect the truth. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Um, the, the, this resonates with um, so much with the uh, DM energy because, as I said, a lot of them are putting their head down. Okay, and they're trying to create abundant life, but they realize that that abundant life is meaningless without someone, without it, unless they have someone to share it with that they truly love. Okay, just gonna scan through my journal quickly here. Okay, I wanted you to read this, even though I already said it, because. You know, I just, I want you to get a, a, get a feel for how these cards resonate, okay? It says, um, um, I couldn't make any sense of it at the time. I thought I was losing it. Um, your strength is contagious. I feel your love always, and your love has kept me grounded. I haven't spoke to you because I just can't. I'm too vulnerable around you. Um, I feel like such an asshole for what I did. Uh, let's see, that's the ghosting right there, okay? Um, okay. Sorry for the swearing, okay? I am fucking done with everyone. Girl, we will make it work. I cannot do this anymore. I can't. I'm actually um, going to take that leap and trust my heart and stop with my head. I have to trust and believe what's right in my heart. I'm sorry for not for not believing this I am. This is really happening, girl. I am not wasting any more time. God did this and I have known all along, but I was a coward. Sorry, you were right. I love you. This is happening, girl. Believe believe it. I I have the courage finally and that's thanks to you. Okay? So um, that's all I have today, folks. Okay. So thanks so much for your love and, uh, have a great day.